Let us start by reviewing questions and answers about the CA125 tumor antigen blood test. What is a common ovarian cancer tumor marker? The CA125 blood test is the most common ovarian cancer tumor marker. How often is the CA125 elevated in women with ovarian cancer? The CA125 is elevated in more than 80% of women with ovarian cancer. Which types of ovarian cancer have the highest and the lowest frequency of being associated with an elevated CA125? Serous histology is associated with the highest frequency of elevated CA125, and mucinous tumors have the lowest incidence of associated elevated CA125. The CA125 is an accepted tumor marker for ovarian cancer. Can an elevated CA125 be associated with other cancers? The CA125 is often elevated in patients with breast, lung, pancreas, and endometrial cancer. It can also be elevated in women with many benign diseases such as cirrhosis, uterine lyomyoma, and endometriosis. It is elevated in about 1% of normal healthy women as well. Can the CA125 be used to make the diagnosis of ovarian cancer? No, the CA125 is not used for diagnosis and cannot replace a tissue biopsy. It is used only as a tumor marker as another tool to follow the progression or the response to therapy. Can the CA125 be elevated in patients without cancer? Elevations of the CA125 can be associated with non-cancerous conditions such as pregnancy, endometriosis, and in patients with peritoneal or abdominal infection or inflammation. How often is the CA125 elevated in patients with endometrial cancer? Approximately 15% of patients with endometrial cancer will have elevations in the CA125. Now the facts. Fact, the CA125 is often elevated in patients with benign disease such as cirrhosis and uterine lyomyoma. Fact, ovarian cancers with mucinous histology are associated with the lowest incidence of elevated CA125. Fact, ovarian cancer with serous histology is associated with the highest frequency of elevated CA125 and mucinous tumors with the lowest incidence of associated elevated CA125. Fact, elevations in CA125 occur much less often in cancers other than ovarian cancer. The role of using these tumor markers in the management of other malignancies is undefined. Fact. Approximately 5% of ovarian cancers are of clear cell subtype. FlashMed has thousands of video flashcards on YouTube.